Wow, I'm just gonna say, I'm already loving the animation. It has like a very sketchbook type vibe, but in a very beautiful way. And the colors are really popping out. Jesus, my God, that prehistoric alligator just came out of nowhere. I also know this show is gonna get very, very gory, I guess you could say. I have a feeling this beautiful animation is gonna mix very well. But first, a word from today's sponsor, Raycon. Raycon was kind enough to send me their newly upgraded everyday earbuds. And you might be wondering what makes these better than every other wireless earbuds on the market. Instead of just boring you and telling you the basics, I'm gonna tell you why I love these. In terms of comfortability, these are the best wireless earbuds I have ever used. The gel of which the tips are made out of is so comfortable in my ear. As you can see, the Raycon Everyday Earbuds easily fit in my ear. And even with me trying to flick it out, it doesn't even move. And with the new quick charge feature, 10 minutes of charge gives you an hour and a half of battery life. And of course, the most important part is the sound. You get three different sound options when using the Everyday everyday earbuds. You have pure sound, which is great for audiobooks and podcasts. You have balanced sound, which gives you a balanced audio listening experience. But my favorite is bass sound. I love using the Raycon everyday earbuds while cleaning around the house. And by the way, your options in terms of color is basically whatever you want. And the best part about the Raycon everyday earbuds is that they are affordable. So knowing you can get premium wireless earbuds sound quality while being inexpensive is a lifesaver. And best of all, if you click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash CAJ, you can get 20% off on your Raycon purchases. And thanks again, Raycon, for sponsoring this video. This guy was inches away from death and now he's just super nonchalant about it. If you really think about it, like imagine how we were back in these days, like early human, like we didn't have anything protecting us at all. We were living just like animals. I saw this video earlier where this deer was getting water out of a pond and out of nowhere, an alligator tries to eat it. And it was inches away from getting eaten by the alligator, inches away from death. Like animals have it so rough. Animals don't have any laws that make it hard for other animals to kill other animals like how we do as humans the only laws they have is the law of nature that's it the circle of life if you will i'm sorry but this animation is gorgeous so far i'm loving this i'm loving the vibe of this show like obviously it's starting off all nice and sweet again i haven't watched this show before but something about this type of show i don't know i'm expecting something bad to happen <laughs> Our main character cannot catch a break. In the matter of five minutes now, he's been attacked by two different creatures. Also, the design of this pterodactyl is so cool. Like I said before, it is so unfair. This is how we humans had to live back in these times. At any moment, you could have gotten eaten. It's just so wild to me. I have a very bad feeling about something. It's just the vibe that I'm getting from this show. It's the whole first episode thing. Usually something bad happens in the first episode. Oh, what? Was that his wife? Oh, uh, what? Oh my God. The, um, <laughs> this show just went from zero to a hundred in like, five minutes. And the worst part is that there's nothing he can do about it. But watch. Our main character has some balls. He is just running at them. Okay, look, in all fairness, if my whole family were to have just died in front of my eyes, yeah, I'd be filled with adrenaline and rage, but these are massive dinosaurs. Oh my god. Our main character legitimately can't do anything about what just happened. That is so sad. Oh, and the family like portrait drawing on the wall. And all the hands on the bottom left, I'm assuming that was his kid's hands. I'm already starting to get emotional. I haven't felt like this watching a show since like Moral Oral. I can feel my heart beating. I mean, no shit, yeah, your heart beats, but you know. You know what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that the whole premise of this show is gonna be him 
trying to get revenge for his family, obviously. I'm just curious on how he's gonna get his dino buddy. I've watched the trailer and I do know that he does get like a T-Rex buddy, kind of like an R-rated version of The Good Dinosaur. By the way, I am loving this show so far. Sorry for pausing, but I'm just loving the red, vibrant fog. Like it's supposed to be the sunrise or sunset, but with the context of what just happened, it just looks so good. I love it when show producers can make the art portray how our character is feeling and like the whole vibe of what's going on. I love it. <laughs> Oh, I see. He's about to recreate the Kratos falling meme, aka he's gonna commit Sudoku. Actually, jokes aside, it's really intriguing to think about. Did humans back in the prehistoric time, did they understand the concept of Sudoku? Aww. It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. Are you kidding me? The water's already starting to run, guys. I like how it's referencing the beginning of the episode, where in the beginning he was getting a bunch of food for his family and kind of smiling and loving life, and now he's just getting enough for just him. How is this show without any words speaking so much to me? As a viewer, it's absolutely incredible. Real quick editing CAJ here. Something I noticed while editing was when he went for the fish, it seemed like he went for the baby fish. I'm assuming that symbolizes his envy for other children, animals, mammals, fish. <sighs> The way this show is depicting how the dinosaurs are acting or how they used to act is so cool. They're not stupid, they're not oblivious. They can sense danger, that's so cool. Wait, is he gonna try and slaughter the dinosaur's kids? Please don't make yourself an unlikable main character. I was just feeling bad for you. Oh my god, it's the same creatures that killed his family. Is that dinosaur the his future dino buddy? Okay, I see what's gonna happen. I'm assuming they're gonna eat her kids. I'm saying she, I'm just assuming it's the mother. And then they're gonna work together. Okay, I see, okay, I see. Very cool concept. Oh my god! I felt that in my leg, bro. The sound design on that was graphic. <laughs> I don't know if I can show this. Can we talk about how our main character dude had enough strength to break a dinosaur leg? Yes, he was using a rock, but that had to have taken insane strength. This is badass and all, this is really cool, but wasn't dinosaur skin like really tough? Kind of like scaly tough, I guess? Either this shows depiction of dinosaur skin to be very, very weak, almost like a human skin, or our main character is unbelievably strong. Also, aren't these just the baby? Didn't they have their own mother too? No, 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 no. Look, this is very sweet and all, but I think we all know something bad is about to happen. Oh no, it's gonna happen, oh no. Also, did you see that kick that our main character just did to save the kids for the time being? She just got the prehistoric version of getting bitch slapped. The freaking parallels, oh my god, the parallels from the beginning with our main character and now the dinosaur that's gonna be our main character's best buddy. The parallels. Our main character has to have some massive cock and balls to run up and challenge that behemoth. This thing is just so much bigger. Even compared to Mama Dinosaur, it's so much bigger. Oh, that's so cool. It's showing their, it's showing the beginning of their teamwork, their friendship, so to say. I mean, yeah, that's cool, but is it really that easy to not only pierce through a dinosaur this big through the skull? I don't know about all that. So what, now that they've taken out the main problem, are they just gonna be a team now? Like, I don't get it. 
Or are they just gonna be a team now? This was amazing. I don't know how the rest of the show is gonna go now because I thought the main point of the show was gonna be our main character getting revenge for his family on the dinosaurs that slaughtered his family, but they took him out in this episode. I don't know, I'm intrigued.